Hey guys, welcome back to Simming Control Chaos, and I was gonna do this funny little bit where I like had the Nintendo like doing my intro, but yeah, the squeaky little hinge would have just driven me nuts. So I'm not gonna do that, but today we're going to be going over my Nintendo Entertainment System or NES collection. Uh, as I'm going to say with the in, with the beginning of every one of these videos, if you want to see me play any of these games, just leave comments down below. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Bleh. Sorry. I'm a little out of it, but I'm always a little out of it. So, uh, I, th I think this was actually my dad's Super Nintendo, and then my got, it got passed down to relatives, and then eventually to me. So, this was actually in a shed for I don't know how long, but I actually managed to get it working. So, I can proudly say I have a working original NES. Huzzah! Now, for a long time, before I found this thing in that shed, I had to use this thing, the... Yobo Enter or Gameware. So I'm reading it through the camera. It takes a second to focus. Uh, there was nothing special. Uh, 2005. But it was the only way I could use this, the Game Genie, because I've never been able to make it work in this damn thing ever. And I've heard it breaks your console or whatever. So this is the way I play Game Genie stuff. So. I guess that's the first thing. I got a game genie, you know, make some games playable, yada yada. Right, let's get this stuff out of the way and we'll get to the games. So this is my stack of my original games that I've had. Well, oops, that one on the bottom's not. Whoopsies, one slipped in. I'll hide that away. You probably saw it, but I don't care. So these are the games that I had. Uh, that I used in my little Yobo system before I started like collecting and figuring out just how expensive all this stuff is so we'll go top to bottom alright first off we got the classic, the original, the awesomeness we got Mario Bros Duck Hunt I think this is the only game my dad likes because I was surprised my dad actually bought a Nintendo because he pretty much hates video games but he loves Mario and Duck Hunt and Tetris it's like the only three games he likes I guess he bought it for that, but I don't know. So, so slide this over here. Next, we got this one. Yeah, I, I played this game. Even when I was a kid. Uh, let's stack this real quick. So it's out of the way. Even as a kid, I don't know. This game just automatically felt different. It was not Mario, as you compared to the Super Mario game. It was just if it, it was weird. And I later learned that this was actually like a reskin of a game. It was made by the same guy, but. Uh, yeah. So. Let me move on to probably my favorite NES game. Oops, that, that fell. Oh well. Super Mario Brothers 3. I love this game, man. Big World, or whatever it's called, where like everything's like super size, is my favorite world in this entire game. It is amazing. Oh yes, now we have every mother's favorite, Tetris. My mom loves this game. I've talked to dozens of other people who says their mom loved this game and would actually steal their Nintendo from them to play Tetris. Now, what does this mean? From Russia with love. Is it actually made by a Russian developer or is it from Russia? I don't know. I've never looked into it. If anyone knows, if you could leave a comment down below, it would be really appreciated. Uh, funny enough, this is probably the closest I've ever, or this game is probably the closest I've ever come to beating an NES game. Legit. I have, just for clarity, I've never beaten a NES game legit. I have beaten this one, because I warped to the last world with the Game Genie, and I beat that world, but I skipped probably two-thirds of the game. Something like that. Here's now we have Paperboy 2, it's kind of in rough condition, but uh, things how it got rained on. I think it's in pretty good condition. Considering. Still works. All these games work, thankfully. Adventure Island from Hudson Soft. This game is. I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of Crash Bandicoot and that it's fun. Now, I'm saying Crash Bandicoot 1 as a preference, because Crash Bandicoot 3 is way different. But this game is fun, but it's challenging as all hell. So, it's kind of like that weird mix of fun and hard, but eventually the hard just, like, makes you rage quit. And you're just like, oh, I don't want to deal with it anymore. It was that. 
It's like a bunch. It looks like a cobweb down there. I guess that's supposed to be code or whatever. I can't. I actually can't see those lines with just my naked eye, but I can see them through the camera. It's weird. I probably could see them if I turn tilted it like at a certain angle, but I don't know. I just noticed that it. it's kind of cool. Is it up top too? Nah. Yeah, it's weird. Oh boy. Oh yeah. I remember rage quitting this game like multiple times when I was a kid. And I later learned I wasn't the only one. I was a little kid, I'm like, oh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, it's gonna be so amazing, you know? It's so fucking awesome. I was always weird that they all had red bandanas. I was like, what the hell, did Raphael like clone himself and like just give his clones all the other weapons and like take over? That, that's actually something I would like to see in a comic or show. Just see what happens if someone did that. Alright. Excite Bike. Yeah, I love this game. Uh, be honest, I don't even know if I have beaten this game now that I think about it. Oh, sorry. It's just... I don't know. It, it's... I don't know. It's one of those games where I don't think you can beat it. You just keep going and going. And there's like a couple tracks. I could be wrong. It's been so long since I played it. I don't know if there's actually like a tournament mode that you can beat. But I remember loving this game and like making all kinds of kooky tracks. Uh oh. Uh oh, you see that gold you see that gold cartridge, you know what it is? Oh, it's Zelda. It took me forever to figure out that wasn't the name of the main character. Uh when I was a little kid that is. I should probably preference that. This is probably my second favorite NES game. Actually it might be tied for first. But yeah, I mean this game man, it's amazing. It's just Amazing. I wish they had done more like label, like cartridges with this to make them like different colors. Because as far as I know, outside of the third party games, the first two Zelda games are the only ones that had different color cartridges. Now, moving on to the stuff I've collected over the years. We got a little stack here. You've already probably saw this one. I don't know if you less keen eyed people have seen it, but here we go. Scooch this over. We got Metroid. I've only played this game a little bit. I have not had time to sit down and try to just uh, play it. As far as I know, it's a very long game, so I was like waiting till I had a pretty good chunk of ch or chunk of time to uh, play this. And I need to download the map offline and like print it off. Now that I think about it, to make it a little, a little easier. I'm gonna move some room here. Yeah. All these old cartridges are so big. So yeah, this one's kind of in rough condition, but you know what? It's Goonies 2. Anything Goonies related, hell yeah, I'm going to buy it. Because I love that movie. And that's probably how they parade on a lot of people back in the day. Like the whole LGN thing. Uh, I can kind of see what's going on in that label. You got some dude looking off in the distance like, Oh my god, there's something amazing over there. And then I guess these guys are falling. I don't know. The label's so fucked up, you can't really tell. Oh, it's a, it's it's a good game. It's just kind of one of those where the fuck do I go kind of games. I can probably look up a walkthrough really easily. Castle Quest. Oh yeah, this game again. It's fun, but it's very intricate. Like you you're going through all these different rooms, and you have to do everything so precise. If you screw up one little thing in the room, you have to go out, and it reloads the room when you come back in. It's a, it's a very in-depth puzzle game, but it's it's fun. I just haven't beat it yet. There's supposed to be like a speed run you, where you could beat this game in like 20 30 minutes, but I don't know. Gyrus. Uh, I thought this was going to be like Space Invaders, but it's not. You actually like go in a circle or where Space Invaders you're on like a line. So it's different. It's good. I just haven't beat all of it yet. I think, again, I think this is one of those games where you just go for a high score. I don't think there is a way to beat it. I could be wrong. I could be very wrong. Again, it's been a long time since I played most of these games. Alright. The Predator game. You were running around a Schwarzenegger in a pair of pink yoga pants. Seriously, what were they thinking when they made this game? Holy shit. If I was him and I played this game, and I saw they put me in pink sweatpants, I would be mad. But, you know, it's another one of those unfair NES games that, you know, people make rage videos about and make hundreds of dollars. Alright, now for something I'm kind of proud over just slightly. Look at this. 
four inbox games. And I got these all at once. I found them in a relative storage locker. I asked them if they wanted it. They said no. Spy Hunter. Actually, it's upside down. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there you go. Spy Hunter, The Legend of Cage, Batman, and Pipe Dream. Now, I'm going to open these just enough because these are brand. These are damn near brand new games. I doubt they've ever been played. Well, except by me. Because they're just in that good condition. You even got all the original like packaging and stuff that comes with them. Trying to do this one hand isn't easy though. Alright, so we got instruction manual. Is it at least colored? No. Cheap, cheap manual. Come on. They're fighting me. There we go. This is a cheap little black and white manual. Nothing special. Um, this is sliding all over the place. Jeez, it comes with a poster, which I'm really kind of happy about. Hang on. There we go. Spy Hunter. Look at all that detail. Oh, and they're promoting stuff. I had Xenophobe, actually. I think I sold it. I remember it not being that good of a game. I can't remember if it was in box or not. I think it was. Alright. And last, we have the game itself. Yeah, all this stuff's so hard to do one-handed. I'm sorry this is annoying. But I mean, look at that. It's like brand damn new. The cartridge, or the board, I don't know if I can get you to see that. It's white. And a lot of these games, if they have not been in a cover like that, they turn yellow. So I know this is almost brand damn new. Brand damn new. I say, how many times have we said that now? Sorry, I just get excited when I look at these because it was like such an awesome find. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the Legend of Cage. Here, here's an idea. Make it quick. There we go. Boom. So we got the instruction manual. Just a, another little cheap manual. Let's see. Crystal ball, scroll, a butterfly. Yeah, who cares? Uh, just a bunch of little promotional stuff. Nothing too special. Oh wait, hey, we got a Nintendo Power thing here. Yeah, Nintendo Power. I oh, don't leave that guy behind. He's got to have the power too. Nintendo Power, the new player's magazine with enough tips, tricks, and insider secrets to send you your score into the atmosphere and your bank account into the you know negatives. Learn to how to play faster, smarter, yada yada yada. Out of the game. Again. Looks brand damn new. The board, again, it's like white, it's not yellow. I swear, these are in like pristine condition. It's amazing. And I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm bragging a little bit, but unfortunately I kind of am, just slightly, because it's one of those things where it's I'm never probably going to ever be able to do it again. Alright. Okay, this one's got all kinds of fun stuff in it. This is Pipe Dream. Let's see, plug into the power. What the hell's all this? It looks like two rolled up magazines, some tubing, a funnel, and a bunch of shit sticking out of it. And he's got a Nintendo thing. They were really creative back in the day, weren't they? Oh, here's how you can get with the program fast Nintendo Power yada 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 a bunch of shit up on the back it's even got more stuff oh hey look a complete Legend of Zelda map so you know you could if you really had to back in the day and you couldn't find another one you could really really squint oh hey they give you like a little hint there let's see what is this there's I'm trying to remember the map and what's here I think that's one of the invisible walls I think they give you a hint like, there's something you could blow up right there. Uh, I get straight from the pros, yada yada. Who are the pros, exactly? The game developers? I don't think they ever specified who the pros were. Oh, yeah. oh, oh this has got that cool little uh, magazine. Or, I don't know what it is. I guess it's a poster? Yeah. Get the best from Bulletproof Software. I really like that. It's like a lion fish thing. Lion headfish. Oh, it's just really creative, and I've never really seen anything like this. 
really cool. They have something called Hatteras, and then they got their own game here, Pipe Dream. It's official seal quality in 1990, so I'm guessing this is an older release from Bulletproof Software. Are they still a thing? Are they still a developer? I, I really don't know. But yeah, I, I really like that. It's really cool. Might steal that and put that on my channel as the, uh, uh, what's it called? The sticker for your channel? I don't know. Here's the manual. It's just a cheap little manual, I imagine. Yeah. Nothing special, just black and white. It was really cool when they gave you a colored one. So here is the game. Pipe Dream. Oh, again, pristine condition, man. I, I really can't get you to see. Oh, I came right there. See how it's white and not yellow? I wish this camera had a light, but it does not. Let's see, when was this made? Yeah, 1990s is a thing. So, yeah. Really like this. Alright, now for the last one. We got Batman. I think that was one of my more favorite Batman movies that this came from. Let me see if I can get this out. Sorry. I know this is boring. There's nothing on screen. Oh no, what are we going to do? Oh, there's a hand. There's a hand on screen. Oh, we have a manual. Huzzah. If I remember right, this one is in color. Yes, it is. I don't know, he's jumping around, I think that's one of the cutscenes, like the opening cutscene, I, hey, who's that guy? I really don't know, I guess that's one of the grunts or something, I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, this game is awesome, so for what I understand, it's like Ninja Gaiden, I don't have Ninja Gaiden, but it's supposed to be very similar. It's a pretty cool Joker effect that they did, he's on the screens back there. Alright, let's see. Uh, we got the same thing again, I love this Nintendo Power thing. But this time they chopped up the dude's face and like started throwing him into like a computer simulation and like digitalizing him. Poor guy. I read this before buying my next game pack. Well, yeah, because then you know whether or not you're going to get dicked over. You can't get it, you can't get with it without it. Huh? That just makes my brain hurt. Couple of Nintendo games, yada yada yada. Anything special in the back? Oh, hey, a new the Legend of Zelda map, and this time they give you a little different arrow. I'm guessing that's supposed to be another little bombable wall, because before it was right here, now it's up here. So I'm guessing that Zelda was like the hard one. They were like going, "Hey, buy Nintendo Power, and we'll give you all this shit for Zelda." Oh, Nintendo, you know how to milk your shit. Alright, here we go. Let me scoot some of this shit over so they have a little bit more room. Here we go. Batman. The video game in brand, in almost brand new condition. Oh, it's amazing. It's a thing of glory. Can I get you to see? Yeah, you can see it. It's white. It's amazing. I love it so. I wonder how much this is worth. I have not looked into any of this. Like, the four games that like are in this condition. The like new con condition, I guess, on Amazon would be the would be the uh, quality. So anyway, that's all for my NES collection. Again, if you want me to play any of these games, just let me know. Leave a comment down below and I will get to it. Uh, but I do have a question. I believe Nintendo has like some weird copyright policies and you have to be a partner with them. If anyone knows anything about that, uh, if you can leave a comment or a link down below, that'd be handy so as I can like know where to go to get all the appropriate things done so I don't get copyright flags or whatever. So, I'll get on to the next video. It's going to be on the Super Nintendo. Huzzah! So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until next time, bye-bye.